although organized along western lines, the Spanish armies of the Reconquista will reflect Moorish influence. Although few in number, the knights still make up the main striking force. Less heavily equipped than their brothers on the other side of the Pyrenees, their charges are supported by swarms of light cavalry inspired by the Moors, who harry the enemy with their javelins. Like their opponents, the infantry are mostly armed with ranged weapons or carry spears. Today we are covering the Spanish. This faction represents the armies of the Christian kingdoms of Spain fighting in the Reconquista. Starting off with the equipment options. The Warlord and Hearthguard are mounted on horses. Warriors either have no equipment options or are mounted on horses and equipped with javelins. Levies must either be armed with bows or javelins. Either way, a maximum of one unit can exchange its bows for crossbows. This faction focuses heavily on light cavalry with javelins. The basic abilities at the top of the board are already different. Instead of activating units by troop type, here you activate them whether they are mounted or on foot. Instead of the levy activation, you have something called Iberia, which is an activation reaction. Trigger this ability after an enemy movement or shooting activation has been resolved. Activate one of your Hinetis units to move or shoot. Since this is a basic ability, you can use this as many times as you have dice in your opponent's activation phase. This board also relies heavily on dishing out fatigue to your opponent and then getting bonuses from it. For example, Hidalgo's is a shooting attack. Your attack dice get a plus one bonus for each fatigue the target of your shooting attack currently has. Blazing Sun is another shooting attack where you discard all of your attack dice and the enemy unit targeted suffers a fatigue. Chaos is an ability in the order's reaction phase that you can use to shuffle around fatigue. Choose a warband and take all of its fatigues. This could be yours or your opponent's warband. Redistribute these fatigues throughout the warband, giving each unit a maximum of two fatigues. Any fatigues which cannot be placed according to the above rules are discarded. This battle board also gives you two separate abilities where you can stop an enemy unit in its tracks. The first one is stunned. This is an activation reaction. If the targeted unit is activated for a charge or shooting attack while it has at least one fatigue, remove the fatigue and cancel its activation. The unit may not be activated again this turn. The second one is Battle Weary. This is a melee or a shooting reaction. All units which roll more than 8 attack dice suffer a fatigue after the entire shooting attack or melee has been resolved and cannot be activated again this turn. There are lots of really good abilities on this board. However, I will just be covering one more. This is Hinetis. This is played in the orders phase. Choose one of your mounted units equipped with javelins. Until the end of the turn, this unit's movements and shooting activations are free, but it cannot be activated for a charge. This unit's targets reduce their armor by one during their shooting attacks. This unit may only fire once at each enemy unit during this turn. Remove one of its fatigue at the end of the activation phase. However, do watch out for the fatigues after playing this activation. Let's talk about warband composition. The most obvious choice is taking as many mounted warriors with javelins as you're willing to paint. I suggest taking at least three points worth. However, there's no harm in taking four points worth of them. The remaining points can either be spent in levies with crossbows. However, you're only limited to one unit of them. Even though mounted hearth guards miss out on a lot of the shooting abilities on the board, it's still really useful to have a hard hitting unit which can really dish out some attack dice on its own. Finally, just a parting word on the Iberia ability. This is an activation reaction. Also, this ability gets triggered after the enemy unit moves. With an enemy unit coming at you with either javelins or composite bows, you will be able to trigger this ability before they complete the remainder of their action. This is great because you can either shoot and diminish the unit coming at you, or you can run away and stay out of range. If you like factions which move a lot and also move in the opponent's turn, this one will definitely be one for you. I hope you find this interesting and hopefully this will bring some of you to pick up the Spanish. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.